Assalamualaikum Rao. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Fazal Abbasi, Dr. Bhavani Shankar, not only my PhD supervisor, but my mentor, and uh, Dr. Asim Hussain, Chairman and the Higher Education Commission for raising the event, Sekri Saab, Moin Saab, the Higher Education Commission. And uh, if we start, you know, with this, that if it doesn't challenge you, it can change you. So the challenge is the key. So always, you know, be receptive for the challenges, and you know, it will keep you keep you moving. And sir, I would like to, you know, say something from now and on. Please don't repeat the story that we say as a past. So this university had it past, so don't repeat it because we have failed a lot now. So we have so much good to say about it. And, you know, every time repeating a past, it is not that glorious. So you know, just cherish and celebrate the present that you have actually, you know, given to this university under your leadership for the last eight years and it's still going. So I would like to, you know, hear only the good things about Dalit University from now on. Thank you so much. And uh, I would like to add one more point to your program. It must be a 360 degree review of my performance. So you missed out Dr. Bhutto. <laughs> <laughs> so peer evaluation is still missing. So I would like to see Mr. Bhutto, you know, among one of the speakers. But anyways, it doesn't matter. So let's move on. Uh, we spoke about the you know, transformation of the university and the jihad that I took on and everything. You know, the first thing that I actually, you know, picked up to start from was the conducive environment for the faculty. Many were faculty members, so they were sitting in a very, you know, shabby environment, a very gloomy and, you know, very uh, 1960s style offices and all. So how can you expect the work out of them when they are not even sitting in a conducive environment? How can they be created? So creativity is spontaneous and it, it, it has to be from your environment, from your surroundings and also first thing that I have asked is to actually redo my faculty offices. So that was actually the defense of the Dow University, just like you have in Karachi and whatever. And I'm thankful for the Vice Chancellor to be able to give me all the opportunities that I have kept asking because I work on two things, space and space. So somebody if it doesn't give me space, I, I won't work there. So, you know, I did the canteen that I wanted to, it was a very beautiful, you know, take around to a very kind of a serene canteen, I don't know how does it look now. And then library, I remember the chemical visit was just around the corner and we had a once again very dull library. So we did it in two days time and with no funds and we made it colorful and something and I remember we were here for at 3 a.m. We, we stayed here just to get done everything and everything. And remember one meeting that I have attended with the Vice Chancellor. Sir, for one time dispensation of all the accredited programs, we went to PC, yeah. you know, to take part from them and you know, we like to be a chavatas from the next time and all. So well, these are the memories that I have from Dalit University. And once again, I must say that the transformation is basically to, you know, everything is for sale. And when I say this, everything has, is for sale not for the money, it has a currency. If you know buy respect, the currency is actually your integrity. If you want to buy loyalty, the currency is the care that you extend for your employees. If you want to buy discipline, then the aggressive follower is the currency to buy the discipline. And if you want to buy love, the currency is the respect. So if you use the right currency to buy the thing, you will definitely get what you want. So you need to know the right currency. And that's what I have done with the, you know, my electronic engineering department and I had six portfolios. Um, if you count my portfolios, I had six portfolios. First director IT, first director PG, uh, Dilla, we started mock interviews. So the, it was all, it was not that, oh, I don't know, uh, you know, something very special. It was simply that I was the only one. <laughs> so probably that was the reason I was the only one. So I don't take it care of I was something, but it was compulsion in the vice chancellor, you couldn't find anybody else, but he was known in Mahir Raja on the same thing. So anyways, I tried to you know, deliver as much as I could. So in the end, I, I would just, you know, say that, you know, every time you don't get people that you want into the system. And you can't just, you know, throw everybody out. And this is what we have adopted in the electronic engineering department and I brought in 10 like engineers, the fresh blood. It actually is a catalyst for the change. I have gotten everything from my lab engineers. And that made my, you know, faculty to move. And I tell you, if you are a doer, there can be only two type of people who can keep you moving. One, those who believe in you and they keep telling you, okay, you know, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. And the other one is the one, those who believe in you, but they keep telling you that this, 
this cannot be done. No, this cannot be done. And for people like me, they are the biggest motivator for me, those who say, no, this cannot be done. And your wife starts to use both of them with me. Both of them with me to get things out of me because he knows me well, okay, how I work. So at times he says, no, you can't do that, you know, it's uh, not doable, you know, it's, it's gonna be tough. And I know okay, inside of his, somewhere in his mind, he knows that it's doable and he wants you to do it quick. So uh, we, we, we know the quotes that we use in that conversation. So I would say this, you know, uh, take the obstacles as a blessing. Because you know what, Allah Ta'ala won't come down and put the diversion signboard for you. If you are going towards the wrong path, wrong route, and you are going to settle for less, definitely he'll put some people there to put obstacles and hindrances in your way, so that you can take the right route with the bigger things that he has chosen for you. So every obstacle or hindrances that has, I have seen in my profession made my job. BNB would never have come to me. I can never cherish this achievement that I can cherish as a BNB vice chancellor. So, you know, all these obstacles are not the obstacles, but these are the diversions that Allah Ta'ala is actually, you know, giving us. Okay, this is not your rule. I haven't chosen this for you. You are a better substance. You, you should go there. You have bigger things to achieve for, as per his plan. So, you know, he, they, there, there come people who actually, you know, seems to be evil in our character, in our career, but actually they are not. We have to work in progress, we have to make a diversion. So people come into our career who actually blocks our path, but it's not a blockade. It's actually, you know, redirecting uh, to another path which has a bigger uh, thing for you, waiting for you. So just believe in that. And don't take obstacles as an obstacles, as I tell you, take them as averages. Okay, thank you so much, and I keep believing in you. And sir, for your, like, I don't have to think that, uh, you know, should I come back or here or not. The process is already, you know, on the go. And I wish whoever comes here should carry the legacy that you are leaving. Thank you.